last pose. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you watched this thing now? Never. No, no I watch it once in a while when I come out of car You take this thing right into the self serve bay or what? Yeah. <laughs> I get mad at me. Well, I get happy when I see a dirty vehicle. Wow. It's dirty. <laughs> Dang. Yeah, we got a lot to work with here. So today I'm gonna clean up this John Deere tractor. First thing I'm gonna do is clean out the cab. I think that that would be smart since the inside of this thing will definitely make the outside dirtier if I do it afterwards. Hmm. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of cleaning out a fireplace. Glass cleaner.
This is my heavy duty degreaser. I usually use it about 50 50. You just use it to like spot treat some of these areas here. Let it work on the grease. If any of you have experience cleaning John Deere's, just suggest to me what I could do better. I would benefit. What I'm gonna use for the soaps for the outside wash is my Stars and Stripes. I'm gonna inject my soaps right through this injector here, and these are the soaps. Step one, step two, these are gonna go on one after the other. Clean this thing up without any contact. It's gonna save me a lot of time. So I'm gonna do a quick pre-rinse. Any more than a half inch of mud, I start to pre-rinse. Just to knock it out of the way before you put the soaps on. You want the soaps to touch the actual surface. All right, here we go. under 12 minutes for the pre-rinse. Now I'll uh, just hit it with the soaps and rinse it real good and we'll see what we get. Right, 10 minutes and 30 seconds for the wash with the pre-rinse, 22 minutes and 30 seconds-ish. All right, I just got the floor rinsed off. That was really bothering me. I had to, I'm a little too OCD to leave all that mud on the floor. So there's one more thing I got to do to this John Deere though. This stuff right here. So snake oil is my SiO2 sealant. Basically it just foams on and then you rinse it off and then it's nice and coated and protected. So let's put that stuff on there. So this is going to cut at the same strength as the one out front. This is 100 to 1. So 1% 1 of everything that comes out is going to be snake oil. I need a marker here. Let's see how much of this stuff... Oh. Yeah, see how much of that we use. Alright, lap 3. Here we go. Three here, snake oil took five minutes and 50 seconds, uh, roughly, and an overall 28 minutes, 40 seconds so far on this thing. 
So let's see what we got now when it dries off, see how clean it actually is. So about every half inch is roughly 250 milliliters in a jug like this. This is about a quarter inch, so I'm gonna say we use maybe a little over 100 milliliters. I could get more uh, accurate, but it's just, a, it's just a ballpark, you know what I mean? There's 3,700 milliliters in a gallon. That means that you would get about 37 John Deere tractors coated with a gallon of this. So that's pretty cool. All right, we got this thing all dried off. Let's see what we got. Let's give it the white cloth, the white rag test. I mean, you know, this, I don't know how dirty this area was. I mean, I know these were dirty. Let's see, there's still a smidge of water on here, but it was pretty good. But we got a lot of the grease off of the different sections. Uh, so maybe it got too much grease off of there, I don't know. I don't necessarily want all the grease gone. Not bad. <laughs> but there is like no dirt on this thing. <laughs> uh, well, came out pretty good. Wow. Hey. Looks nice. <laughs> Check out the inside of this. I can already tell you it's clean. Holy <laughs> shit. There you go, man. They don't even look like the same track. <laughs> if they'd have seen it, well, they did see it before. Oh, yeah. I actually <laughs> used my, uh, I got a flat trouble I used in that. <laughs> yeah, you said you wanted it dirty. What was it? <laughs> Granny's place, Agawam. Look him up. I know. I'm ashamed to take it in the field. Nah. Thank you. Thank you, man. I have safe out there. <laughs>